not light enough. There you are. Nah. Everybody's gonna say, man, his dash is dirty. It is. It is dirty. <laughs> it's a hunting truck, hello. There's, there's like 10 months worth of dust and dirt in this thing. It hasn't been cleaned in a long time. Yeah, you just got back from Snow Goose Conservation yeah. Season, so it definitely ain't there's, gonna be clean yet. There's dirt in here from one, two, three, four, five, like six states probably. Starting in Nebraska, September deer hunting. Hasn't been touched since then, so then they come to Kansas, Arkansas, Iowa, South Dakota. So, yeah, it's been in, been around a little bit. We've got some deer in the road. Watch out, man. Hope y'all can see me. Yo! What up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. Uh, Drew, Siv, and myself, we are turkey hunting, obviously. Back at her again. Back at her again. <laughs> we did not have good luck uh, on the last video. Big send today, big shout out. I wanna thank um, I wanna thank Preston's dad, Mark, first of all, for always letting us come out here and duck and goose hunt, now turkey hunt. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Preston. But um, beautiful, beautiful property today. We are in East Kansas. We are not at home anymore. And uh, there's a lot more birds out here. You all seen we have had a lot of trouble finding birds in my area. It has not been easy. But out here, as you can see, beautiful property and a lot more water all the water out here they always have good water uh, i guarantee you their population out here is a lot better than mine at home unfortunately yeah unfortunately hopefully they can get stuff straightened out in the next few years but yeah who knows if they're going to get stuff straightened out there's uh there's been talk about them shutting down turkey season in kansas just because uh, they've lowered most of the state's limit from two birds down to one. Um, and now they're, I have heard chatter about eliminating it. And if they did, I heard, again, this is just from a little, just a little rumor mill. Uh, if they did shut it down, it would be for three years. It would be a three year project, not just one. So they would actually give it three years to see how the turkey population came back or did so we will see that's that's exciting news but kind of depressing news at the same time i don't know how to take it yet so we'll see what happens all right give them your your little yelp yelp see if we can get a holla back girl was that too much did you just call me gerald <laughs> no i said girl if we can get a holla back girl Oh, holla back. Holla back. That song? Focus. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. Who was that? Gwen Stefani? Yeah. Yeah, definitely Gwen Stefani. <coughs> Dear deer, you scary. Definitely, it they definitely hurt you. She didn't like that. <laughs> you got a good crow call. Okay. You got a lot of girth in there. You've been working on it. <laughs> you have all that working out I you've know. been doing in the gym. <coughs> all the abs. That ain't a good sign. <laughs> this property is huge. It's, uh, I believe, it's a ma two miles by a mile, maybe. It's a whole section. So, what was that? Crickets. <laughs> um, we're gonna do some driving, some scouting, some glassing, and we're probably gonna end up driving in and just doing a ton of walking through this whole property. But I want to tell you before we get to walking. First off, I'm using the 410 again. You're using 20 gauge again. We got to get that that deal done. Yep. You're going to shoot your bird first. Okay. Drew is from Nebraska, so your tag was what? 130 bucks? It was 100 bucks. 100 bucks for a non-resident turkey yep. tag. So we're going to get Drew's have done, uh, and then I think that I'm going to go up to Nebraska probably what? In a couple week, week and a half maybe. Weeks. Yeah. I think that'd be good. Yeah, if you get closer to May, it's usually when the birds start to get easier to work up Pretty there. good. Yeah, they get broke off from the hens. They get a lot of the big breeding done. Then your toms aren't hinned up so bad. They're a little easier to work with up there. Yeah. So if you think that's a good idea, you want me to go to Nebraska, drop a comment down below and let me know. And on top of that, before we get going, like I was saying, we are booking clients at Sand Hill Flyway. If you guys want to come and hunt with us, a lot of you already have. Some of you have. I shouldn't say a lot. Uh, but if you want to come experience it, 
have some amazing waterfowl hunts, eat Bert's amazing food, and hang out with all the boys, make videos, be in, yes, you're in the videos, yes, I'm there, yes, Fred's there, the whole nine yards. It does not matter your group size. I, that is the most asked question. Bobby, do I have to have eight people? No, no, no. You don't have to have four people. You can have however many people you want. So if, you, uh, if you're interested, I urge you to go to the Sand Hill Flyways website, fill out the inquire to book form. When you do that, it sends a direct email to me and my wife, and one of us will be calling you back. Probably me. It'll probably be me calling you back. So love to hear from you guys. Uh, we love our waterfowl hunting. You know me. And that's one thing that I know I can provide really well. Maybe not, maybe not the turkey hunting, but definitely the waterfowl. I didn't hear it. Drew said he heard a gobble over here. Yeah, I've been driving around the section looking. Might have just seen one cross the road. But we're going to call into here and see if is it. That crow was calling. I wanted to hear if there's something gone. Oh, yeah. Well, go let, ahead. Just let nature do its thing if, it, if there was going to be a bird there. Yeah. Give him a little one two punch. Oh, no. <laughs> he already did that earlier. Is it? It is a good one? Yeah. yeah. I can't see it. I don't got the binoculars see, on my eyes. The other one beat feet that way. He's still hanging right there. Uh-huh. Well, first bird of the day we have spotted. Two of them. Two. Unfortunately, Definitely one shooter. Unfortunately, I'm probably this one here. Hunt. He's just trotting along. Other one boogie down. There he is down in the Got him? Yeah, he's down there. I don't know if y'all can see him down there. He's a big bird. Turn a little bit more. For sure, Tom. Yeah. Or Jake. That's I think a good male. sign. Good sign. The male, anyways. First sign of the day. Got her? Got, got your hen? Oh. Pretty, <laughs> pretty bird. You sold Petey to a blind kid? <laughs> you sold Petey to a blind kid? Oh, dumb and dumber. Let's go kill some turkeys, come on. Let's go try. 410, 20 gauge. We're taking the old reaping fan. Probably won't use it to uh, reap per se, but it's gonna provide us some cover because we don't have a lot to hide behind. We found two toms, we're going after them. Oh, we'll sneak down. Oh, we can off this off. Oh, shit. That one fell off, you see him? See him going? Oh, yeah. Ooh. That guy's, I think that guy's just a track star, dude. He, yeah, he so hasn't stopped I running all day. I don't know if we day. go to this one or if we try to get down to there, because they're going to probably be able to see us. Well, they're probably going to want to stay down in let's, this ravine. Let's go behind, put that in front of us. I'll yeah. get behind you and keep that between them and us the whole way. Okay. Let's get down into that. Just go to this tree first for now. Okay. We'll just keep that right here. Kind of put it out here. Well, this is a situation for now. This is gonna kind of. <laughs> never know, they might come running. You never know. We're gonna try it. Ooh, that's wet. No. <laughs> no. Tom's That's definitely not a call. That's a hen. Like yeah, it sounds like right where the so we spotted we've seen <laughs> four two. toms total, but two toms over here with a hen, yeah. obviously. That's what we're set up on. How far do you think? A couple hundred yards at least. A couple hundred yards? Yeah. They were down there a two. The two that were birds that were down there were down there a ways. But one of those birds was ones that we bumped off the road. Yeah. They weren't far apart from each other. 
so <laughs> no response so this is the third day of season shotgun uh, shotgun season and uh, these birds there's no way they've been pressured enough to be hard yet so um, they're just hinned up right now, so they're not hinned up. <laughs> call it, they call it being hinned up. They got a, they got a hot hen that's ready to breed, so they stick to her until they're looking for one. That's when you start to hear a lot more of the gobbles. Right. And they're on the on the move. On the move. Right. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. If you guys are liking the uh, turkey videos, you gotta let me know. By smashing the thumbs up button. I know. It gets annoying hearing YouTubers say that. I get it. I annoy myself saying that. It sounds stupid. But it really helps. Like it really does. Alright, we're going to try to kill a turkey now. She was right there. Hopefully she pulls the boys with her. Oh, he's still over there. Heck yeah. About, a, what do you think, 80 yards? So we're set up on this little creek. This creek's running. We have a hill. I got uh, two decoys up right there on the other side of the creek. Just sitting.
exciting. We had three toms. The one that you all have seen in front of me, if I would have had my 12 gauge, I definitely would have pulled the trigger, but I'm gonna walk it out. I'm, I'm guessing it was about a 50 yard shot. If Drew would have had the same line of view that I did, he could have plowed him over with his 20 gauge for sure, but then, right over here to my right, 40 yards, Drew could see that one. There's a fence right there that you don't want to cross over. Okay. Drew saw one over here that I could have shot that I couldn't see, so there's definitely three toms. We're in them. They moved out a little bit. They're definitely not spooked. That was insane. Just covered up in toms. That was amazing. After the struggle bus that we've had the last two days, that was cool. That was cool. We're going to get it done today. I feel it. I know it. <laughs> Easy does it. Easy does it. This is uh, Preston Geis. We're out here on the family's <laughs> farm chasing turkeys and we suck at it. <laughs> Drew just found those Oakleys right here. Preston lost those this past season, I believe. I remember him telling me, I lost my expensive pair of Oakleys. I cannot believe you found them. That's insane. I lost them like that. We should, do, we should be done turkey hunting right now, but we suck. <laughs> At least we found your glasses, Preston. <laughs> All right, we're gonna uh, new plan. The toms have really split up. The three or four that were around us, we're gonna give the three or two a break that are south of us, and we're gonna move north along these trees. Um, see if we can get something to spark up. And if not, we will regather and kind of start on these south birds again. But lots of options. Should have had a bird on the ground right there. This morning, I almost grabbed my 12 gauge. You know what? It's poke. Yeah, I definitely, I would have felt decently solid on that. With a 12 gauge. I, what do you think that yardage was? 60? All of that, maybe pushing 70 where we were. Oof. That would have been a long ways for me if my 20 gauge. The worst part was I had stuff in the road, so I didn't feel comfortable shooting through all that yeah. stuff. If he had come out in the open, I probably took a poke at him. Yeah. But... That's our story, we're sticking to it. Let's get on the road. Check this out. That's a nice one. Deadhead. Obviously from this year. He's nasty. Not a bad deer. Another one. Not another one. Resting him. What? Oh, That's okay. That's resting him. Ooh, good deer. Howdy. I've been drowning in my sorrows, wishing I would have pulled the trigger. Wishing we would have pulled the trigger. You leaving me today? No. You gonna stay the night one more night and hang out? Yeah. Extend our, extend our non-exciting turkey camp. Yeah. I got a little exciting this morning. It did get really exciting. That was fun though. That was I mean, very exciting. I mean, for not being successful that was about as close as you can be and I'm exciting that first bird was fired up I'm sure if you guys go back and you listen to the GoPro you can hear me my breathing completely change my heart was in my throat it was pumping mm -hmm. and I was like going like trying to <laughs> just that was the first 
Tom after three days of just hammering, absolutely hammering. That was what? What's your guess on Big Whitey that was out here? What, the yardage on him? It was hard to tell from my angle because I was looking through branches and stuff, which is probably one of the biggest reasons I didn't take a shot. Yeah. No. I had a good, I had a clear lane between two trees, I mean, but I had a walked, 410. If you'd have walked to our right just a little bit more, I think I'd have had a shot at him. Yeah. But it's hard to tell. I just wish, with the one behind me at 25 yards that you could see really good, and you couldn't shoot, and this one that was just a hair out of the range of the 410 that I wanted you to shoot, between the two, I just wish one of us freaking would have pulled the trigger. Right. It just... Now I know. Now I know if a Tom comes in, and, and if you have a decoy out for sure, and he stops shy, wherever he stops right there, if you got a shot, take, the, take it. Don't wait. If, it, if he's stopped for even 30 seconds and he's just kind of doing this now and he's not still, you know, getting rid of ground coming at you, take a shot. It, all it takes is one pellet. Right. That's what Gerald taught me three years ago. He's like, Bob, just send it because all it takes is one pellet. I'm kicking myself in the butt. Yeah. Live and you learn. Live and we learn. That is correct. I hope you guys have been enjoying the turkey hunts. Uh, the second video didn't kill anything, but you know what? This is a show. This is a YouTube channel and a show. And honestly, I told myself this year, no matter what hunt, doesn't provide a kill i'm still making a darn video because it tells a story and a lot of you are here to not only watch some good hunting videos but to learn something and to take something home from these videos as well and this was a big learning lesson for me it feels like with waterfowl hunting you, you have missed opportunities on shots you should have called same thing if the turkey stops at 50 yards and you think you can hit him, take that stupid shot. Just send her on out there. Send her on out there. I had tungsten in the old 410. That's what I should, I should have just sent her on out there. I had tungsten in the 20 gauge today too. Yeah. If you would have been sitting where I would, you could have smoked. Yeah. I mean, you may not have blew his whole head off. No, but you'd have killed him. Yeah, you definitely, definitely would have killed, killed him. him. He yeah. was probably maybe 60 yards. I was going to guess, you know, between... Give or take 10, 50 to 60. You know, yeah. I don't think he was outside no, 60. Probably not. probably not. I mean, when we when we kind of walked out there and stepped it off a little bit, we didn't really step it off. And just kind of looking back at where we were, I'd say yeah. we were close to it. Live and you learn. Uh, hope you guys are having better luck than we are. We're going to keep getting at it. Uh, we have awesome, awesome guests coming in. Uh, that'll be Tuesday, Wednesday-ish this next week. Uh, we have some special force guys, some military guys. Uh, we took them, some different guys, but we took the same people, basically. It's special ops excursions. And uh, it's an awesome organization that provides, um, <clears throat> not wounded warriors, not nothing like that, but this provides active duty special force <clears throat> military to uh, pull them off their duty and give them a break with their boys and and just to have fun have a breather um just three days of hunting and and we're gonna take them turkey hunting me preston i don't think drew's gonna be there start work unfortunately yeah you gotta go back to your normal work routine life yep. the off-season gig the off-season electrician yep. play sparky old drew is sparky during summertime Yep. Does good work. Not real glamorous. <laughs> it's not it real feels. glamorous. <laughs> <laughs> it beats living in the old hotel or Yeah. Oh yeah. For the last two months of your life. Yep. But those are coming. Uh those videos are gonna be so special. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to sh show the uh the military guy's face. Like that's how important these guys are. They are high end, I mean very exclusive military and uh, very proud to be able to take them don't miss these videos coming up i hope you guys enjoyed today's let me know what you guys want to see down in the description thank you guys for being here remember we are booking here at sand hill flyways if you're interested if you want to get on board head on down to uh, sandhillflyways.com it is always linked down in the description uh, you can go on there and fill out the inquire 
to book form and yours truly will be calling you trying to make something happen so thank you all but until next time